we what's going on youtube is donnie b all day bringing you the kubi i have been waiting to bring you i've just been dying to use this um sent to me by brandon thrasher brother of the blade brandon thrasher who sent me also the chariot who he just messaged me and i'm gonna make sure first that um it's a go but he messaged me that he wanted me to add this knife to the um to the 10,000 sub giveaway and um if so if he's serious about that and he because i told him he doesn't have to i told him he doesn't have to but if so somebody is getting this guy that i just reviewed and this thing is nice man it's nice so um so that just might be part of the 10,000 giveaway. I'm not sure. I want to make sure he's in his right of mind first and he didn't just flip out. Um, but if so, that'll go and that will be um, literally from Brandon Thrasher and that'll go in the 10,000 giveaway bag, which is just insane. But today we have the other knife that he sent me and I have been just wanting to use this so bad. This is the one that I really like. Man, I wanted to be like, sorry, dude, I must have lost it in the mail. Um, but uh, no, I'm going to send this back to him. Um, but I think I have to get one of my own. I need this knife, and I'm going to show you guys why. We're going to go over it right about now. Um, this is normally when, like, somebody else's channel would start playing some crazy music and big video and have all this cool stuff. Not mine. It's just this boring. All right, so this is the knife. Yeah, it doesn't look like that much. I know. I know just from here. But, oh man, you put it in your hand, you can feel it. All that, what is that, five millimeters? It just might be. All that goodness of this tan, brownish, taupe-ish um, looking, uh, looking G10 grip there. Um, it's kind of hard to, there it is, right there, there it is. It's nice, man. There, there is so much about this knife I love that I haven't, e I haven't even tested it yet. Not, not even close. So now Brandon sent me these two knives brand new, right? He took them out, he inspected them, but he didn't use the edges. So they're brand new edges. So when I got to play with that last one, whoosh, I got to find out that that brand new edge was sharp. So, um, and it's still sharp. So, uh, but this one, let's, let's go over it. First off, <laughs> before we even get into that, here's the Kydex sheath. Um, it's a Kydex sheath. What do you want? But it fits real tight. It looks real good. It's ambidextrous. Has the belt loop that you can take off. It has all the lashing holes so you can mount to your gear. Um, just a good overall sheath. That's all that matters. But what we're really talking about is this gorgeous hunk of sandblasted steel right here. Now, I know it's not... You don't look at it like the other one and be like, whoa, because that other one was so attractive, man. Just the blade shape was just really cool. But this, this is as knife as a knife gets. I need one of these. All right, so total length is 10.12 inches long. Blade length is 5.2 inches long. Handle length is 4.9 inches long. Blade thickness is 5 millimeters. Blade material is the everlasting, always loving D2. Uh, blade hardness, the Rockwell is 59 to 61. The blade type, it says drop point, but I don't think it's a drop point. Um, it is stone washed. The blade grind is western and flat, it's called. And I was showing you in the preview video, I really like this grind. Really, really like it. Um, handle material, G10. Uh, full tang kydex knife weight is um, 296.8 grams when they weigh it in grams it makes it sound so much heavier than it really is um, but it is weighted it, it's it's weighted um, this thing is freaking awesome they have them in different colors too you can get them in black stone washed and black polished black handle with polished blade so if you really like that pretty polished blade like that other one you can get this with the black scales in a polished blade um this thing is awesome what do they have it going for they have this thing going on their website for 70 bucks so you could find it probably even cheaper if you look but 70 bucks on the website for this this is sweet and I know I, I told you it's, that you don't look at it and think, oh my God, it's so gorgeous, like you look at that one. 
But this one, when you put it in your hand, you understand you're holding like knifedom right here. This is as pure as a blade, like a survival blade, camp blade, EDC, as you're going to get. This thing is knife. So when I first saw it, I thought it was an, an upswept blade, which I am not a fan of. I will not lie to you. I'm going to end up having to try one out just because... I don't like them, so I don't buy them, but I'm going to have to, I'm pretty sure I might even own one. I have 500 knives. I got to own one, but I thought it was up sweat because of right here made it look like it curves, but this is dead flat. I checked it. That is dead flat. And you have this really sweet swedged out spine, which still offers you a really good thickness. Um, and you can see not only does it offer you a good thickness, but it enhances toward the tip, which is great when you're talking about complex grinds it's really really well done this is superbly done when it comes to grinding um excellent job on this knife uh so far i, I found nothing to dislike about it um it, it's just really sweet man i could use this for pretty much anything it's a great size it's a great weight it's a great shape it's going to be good for cutting but it also be good for stabbing so if you needed that knife um, at the atm against bigfoot you got it um but it's so much more than that this is going to be your outdoors knife this is going to be your just get it done knife you could hit this to the kitchen man this could be your steak knife anything all right so that's all good um, we could sit here and talk about it for another 40 minutes, but neither of us or none of us want that. Brandon Thrasher, you're the man. I, I'm so happy you sent this for me to play with. All right, hold on. So now that we are out in the sunshine, let's get a really good look at this Sombiach. This thing is just pure, man. This is, man, it's just knife. All right, so let me see. I got this growing off the dog pen. Woohoo! It's gone. All right, so let's um let's give this thing let's give this thing a good walk through and um, see how it does. And honestly, I have no doubts that the um, the abilities of this knife are going to be put on full display. Let's check sharpness. Oh, I just man, it felt like it was just going to go right through me. It's so sharp, dude. You cannot believe. I tried to get them in a circle so they don't blow away. How freaking! sharp this knife is man this thing i could shave my whole body with this and then go on display in a museum whoa man i'd be the freak Ugh, this knife is so nice so the color i have to say out in the sun it has a really maybe it's the sunglasses i don't know but it's got like a mix of browns and purples in it and um it's kind of crazy, man. It's, I moved the sunglasses and it's still, it's really, really crazy to look at this color because it's hard to pinpoint. Um, but there is definitely like, like a mix of some kind of purples and browns. Um, it's, it's in the sun way nicer because you can really see like the grain pattern and all that in the G10. Um, you can see the texturing it looks phenomenal you do have a lanyard hole you do have jimping in the rear in case you need to use that holy crap you see how far that dove down um <laughs> so um in case you need to do stuff like that or in case you need to you know go through a tire at the truck stop so ugh, you look at that just tear straight through um this knife is so nice it's it's just, I don't know, man. I just love it. Just love it. Like, this is the perfect knife that he could have sent me. Right? So, let's do a little um, push. <laughs> I didn't even have to ask it. This knife is so sharp. It went pachu straight through the uh, straight through the half-inch nylon rope. Let's see. We got some, we got a, a cut piece over here. Extension cord with the wires and all that. Let's just give it a little pop boom and it's a clean chop straight through. Let's do some four foot drops, four feet from the tip to the stump. And we'll see the balance on that song. It just dives in. Um, it's, ugh, it's done 
really, really well as far as geometries. Um, gosh, the mean, the mean is right on for, for this kind of blade. Like it, it feels like whoever designed it knew what they were doing with mathematical balance because this knife is right on. It's right at the finger well. Just perfect. Let's do a couple hard downward throws. Ugh. And miss. Make sure these scales aren't gonna loosen. Kinda hit the tire, kinda didn't. There we go. We'll see the bite on this son of a gun, which we already tested just on a drop. Ooh. Man, I thought. I mean, this thing is just. Ugh. Man. Took it out of took the stump out of its hole. Man. Right there. Right there, boys and girls. That is a dive-in deep type piece. Um, that's nice, man. Super nice. The tip is nice and fat, so we don't have to worry about, hey, did it ruin the tip? No, it didn't. Ugh. Ugh. You hear that cracking? That cracking, crack a is not the knife, I'll tell you that. It is the wood. Ugh. And after some really hard pulls, this thing is dead straight. It is dead straight. So let's see here. Let's see. Oh, look at that immediate curl. The um, the edge geometry it, on this knife is something special. I was hoping to keep them all on there, but fudge. Um, it, it, the, I mean, you can see, I don't usually screw up my feathers, but just easy, easy, easy feathering. Um, really, really nice. This blade, this blade is going to be a one-all, do-all. I guarantee it. This is just going to be your super knife. All right. And remember, this was sent to me by another person, so I'm not talking about it because some company paid me to talk about it or this and that. Like every Kubi I review, um, I don't get a, a single, oh my God, these girls. I don't get a single penny from Kubi. Not, not at all. I just happen to be a fan of Kubi knives. Brandon knows this. And he sent me a couple that I haven't done yet. <laughs> and, um, man, I mean, he was spot on knowing what I like. I'll tell you that. All right. So, uh, tent spikes, pit spikes, things like that. This is going to be an all-round use survival camp, freaking anything knife. So, I know that I will be able to use it for all that kind of stuff um but definitely man anything that needs a point this thing is going to be a knife that is able to make a point it is just shredding it is just shredding oh ew. Ew, i put way too far deep in there just shredding this knife is awesome let's see it right give you guys my head to look at all right so naughty 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 piece of wood not naughty like it's a bad girl. It's a naughty girl. Thanks, Steve. Um, hold on. I had to make sure the dogs didn't try for the great escape. All right, so let's see if we can't knock through um, through some of this really banged up wood here. Here we go. Whew. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Boop. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's get a little bit more of that. Ooh, I could have used a better baton. Ugh. I mean, it's just straight through. Straight through. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm going to try not to chunk up your, your G10 brand. going to try. I'm going to try. There we go. Oh, yeah. That should split. Oh, goodness. I'm running out of real estate. I'm running out of real estate. There we go. Ugh. Man. 
he it comes out of the wood maybe okay here we go and there we go we got our center split watch how easy this goes and ba, ba, ba. right through all this nasty knotted crappy wood man takes a lick in keeps on ticking all right it is hot out here misters and missuses it is freaking hot Ugh, bashing on the tip no tip damage at all Ugh, i'm getting all the way down to the scales i could have picked a smaller piece of wood because you're not going to need to do that with a big fat piece of wood but holy moses this knife is getting it done this is doing the tasks doing the tasks of a bigger knife a log like that with a nice cut in it it's gonna burn well Ugh. let's see if i can get this out of there i got it way down into those well brandon you might not get it back it's stuck i got it way down into um uh, instead of knots there we go there we go make a nice little wedge so we can get it out of there get it out of there oh there we go this is what i was looking for there we go sometimes you got to use wood to work the wood the tip is on the other side i found it and there we go. So now with this wood split, um, I would be able to use it in a fire. It'll catch wind that way. Or what I can do is see if I can finish the split if I wanted to break it all the way through. You get it that good half, because this is knots. So rather than go through the knots, you just take a couple different directions and you see if you can't split it all the way through. But the point is, the knife takes zero damage, right? Through all those knots, through all the bad stuff, through all the crap, the edge is beautiful. It is beautiful, almost knocked it down. And still, oop, yeah. still, oh crap, oh you can see it right there. Still shave sharp. Look at this. Okay, I got more hair here. Shave sharp. That's knots, guys. That's freaking knots. Just hammering, 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 banging into it. We did. We even did some boop, 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 um, some chops. That is still freaking that nasty shave sharp. Like nasty shave sharp. Uh, I really like this freaking knife. Have I told you guys yet? Let's go over here because we have some. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, no, I can't. The dogs will follow me. So, say I have a one inch forest tree growing out of some place it's not supposed to, but I have one over here too. On the way, we'll stop. I got a free dangler. I want to hit it up high because if anybody knows anything about anything, you know that if you hit something like this, it's just going to move. You need an edge, especially the higher you go, the more flimsy it is. That is just a super sweet cut. I'll go even a half cut. Boom. Look at this. From here. Boom. From here. Boom. Boom. I mean, it doesn't matter. Boom. Boom. This thing is so... Oh, we forgot to try it in uh, skinning. Skinning. Let's get over there. Hold on. Yay, we made it. All right. So, now we got the leather soccer ball. Um, let's see here. <laughs> I literally, it was like it wasn't even there. Like, it wasn't part of the equation. It said, nah, I'll just pretend that there's nothing in my way at all. Um, that's that's just sharp, man. It's just sharp, sharp, sharp. Let's see here. Just amazingly sharp. The edges on these guys are as perfect an edge can be, right? Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's 
Let's cut a branch. Let's cut down a branch. I got a, I got a low hanger over here. <laughs> it's not the only low hanger I got. So I got a low hanger over here. And uh, what we're going to do is try and remove a little bit of it because it's being pulled down to the ground, right? So let's see. Bam! See it rise up automatically? Bam! Look at that. It just went up a good eight inches just from taking, just from taking off a little bit. Um, not so bad. Not so bad at all. Here, let's do this. I got all these. I don't know if you guys are in it, but there's a whole bunch of these vines, right? They're just twisting, turning everywhere. As a matter of fact, they're way up here too. This is all vine. All right, let's see if we can't. Bam. That took out about half of them. Bam. And then, I mean, they're just shredding in here. Vines. Ooh, I got a bug on my neck. Vines suck. And we have tons of them. They just keep growing. Um, I was going to do the one-inch forestry. That's what we were going to do. I so badly just want to keep playing with this that I'm, like, forgetting what I'm doing. All right, we got a little one-inch forestry growing here. Boom. Look at that cut. Look how smooth that is. I think you guys are in it. Boom. Boom. I mean, just, it just annihilates anything in its way as a cutter. But we know it can skin. We know it can slice. We know it can shave. We know it can chop. We know it can cut. That yeah, makes you wonder, what else can it do? And you say, well, what is there left to do, D-Bad? I just got to wonder, does it fly? Let's find out. Let's find out. Hey, yeah, baby. First try. All right, so, obviously, it flies. So this knife, I'm not gonna lie to you, this knife is as near perfect as a knife can be designed and, and made. It's just really nice, man. It's just a really good knife. It's a user knife. Something that you could just have for a long time. And, and its intended purpose would be to cut with. And it's just going to keep doing that. It's, it's that knife. It's just a good all-around knife. Is it your chopping knife? No. Can it chop? Yep. Is it your skinning knife? Maybe not. But can it skin? Absolutely. Is it your carving knife your whittling knife no but man you can make yourself something um whoop this is going to be an all-around multi-purpose sweet and i'm talking sweet knife man this thing this thing is done freaking right brandon thrasher thank you for sending this to me um this knife has been a joy and if you're wondering about the coating right let's um let's clean it up real quick and we'll just take a look at it all right so i just cleaned it up let's see it's got some stains on it obviously i just did that but look at the coating this all this stone wash stone wash is unaffected just unaffected right the scales i was pounding on with a log can't tell can't tell where I hit it, right? These things look great. So, this knife is awesome. Speaking of awesome, Choir Boys with a Z Cutlery Outdoors. Um, and my man Steel Forge and Fire, Joe, uh, Steel Forge and Fire Sword and Knife, my man Joe Love. Um, check these guys out, man. Just awesome. But um, awesome, 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 man. Brandon Thrasher, Brother of the Blade. Much appreciated it. You're getting this thing back. It's still sharp, man. It's still sharp. I'm still going to hit the strop on it, but sharp, 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 sharp. So that's it for this one. I am super stoked that I got to play with it, and now I know what's on my list. Um, I got to get me one of these. Um, just very, very, very sweet, man. Just freaking sweet. All right, so that's it for this one. I am down to be all day. Until next night.